Hi, I'm Jason. You might know me from the library. I'm probably going to laugh through this video. That's okay. Uh, you might know me from the library, um, but tonight I'm not there. I'm coming to you from my kitchen. And the reason I'm making this video is to do a little trivia. Uh, if you come to the library much, you might know that we have a trivia night um, every couple months. And a lot of people come. And it's always a lot of fun. We were supposed to have one this coming Thursday, but obviously we can't now. So in place of that, I thought I would do some videos this week, uh, do some trivia. You can play along if you would like to um, get your family together or, you know, share this with your Facebook friends, make it a little uh, competition um, or just, you know, watch the video and learn some useless information. Uh, so tonight we have round one. We're going to do five questions and these are just random questions. Um, there's no theme in this first round. Um, but here we go. I'm going to read the question. Uh, I'm going to put it up on the screen. I, I wrote them out very neat, not neat at all. Um, and then at the end of the video, I will give you the answers. So if you'd like to, you know, pause between each question or anything, write down your answers or just shout them out, however you want to do it. Um, and then at the end, I'll have the answers for you. So here we go. Question number one, I'm going to try to get this in the right spot. So it's, uh, visible on the screen. How many dice are used in the game Yahtzee? How many dice are used in the game Yahtzee? That was number one. And here we go with number two. Mount Everest lies on the border of which two countries? Mount Everest lies on the border of which two countries? Which two could it be? Number three, there's another two-part answer like the last one. There are two five-letter names that can be given to a young dog. What are they? There are two five-letter names that can be given to a young dog. What are they? Number four, what is the unit of measure used when discussing the speed of nautical ships? What is the unit of measure used when discussing the speed of nautical ships? And here's our last question for the night. Number five. There's only one kind of bird that can fly backwards. There's only one kind of bird that can fly backward. Which is it? <laughs> okay. That's our five questions. And now we're going to go through the answers. So. How many dice are used in the game of Yahtzee? Five. There are five dice used in the game of Yahtzee. Number two. Mount Everest lies on the border of which two countries? Nepal and China. The two countries are Nepal and China. Number three. The five letter names that can be given to a young dog what are they? Puppy and whelp. Puppy and whelp. That was loud. What is the unit of measure uh, used when discussing the speed of nautical ships? Not. The answer is not. And finally, there's only one kind of bird that can fly backward. Which is it? It's the hummingbird. The hummingbird is the only bird that can fly backwards. So that's it for tonight's trivia questions. Um, hope you had fun, and we'll be back tomorrow night with some more. Thanks.